I mean, they put a bandage on it, but it came off in the first five minutes. You know, you know, sure. Was... So talk to me a little bit about Terry Funk. I mean, why do you think that, is it because just the era he was sort of pre cable? Why do you, wh- wh- why do you think that for whatever reason, uh, he's not included on a lot of those Mount Rushmore conversations. Is it just simply, you know, by the time he was more of the territory guys and, and not enough folks had a chance to see him in this. Yeah. Era? Not enough people had a chance to see him on national TV Yeah, until it was, till it was, till it was late. He's only, um, I want to say he's only four years older than I am, but I had the good fortune of being on you know TV a lot more. I got the title at the right time when TV would just, when, when, when Turner was just, I got the title when Turner would just got going. Right. So I had at least the advantage, um, of being on Turner station where Terry, I don't think was ever the champion on that. I know Harley was a couple of times, but it was just a special time in life for me, but just being able to work with Terry, you know, that, that movie, that move that uh, we did in Nashville, where he piled drove me through the table, right? Yep. They, they call that the Dudley boys call that the first hardcore match ever. <laughs> Because no one had ever done that before, including me. And he damn near broke my neck because the table didn't break. <laughs> it's amazing to think about how much history you guys made together. And of course, I think what's interesting in hindsight is you've been a big heel in this whole steamboat affair. You know, you're you're mocking him and his family lifestyle and you know, him with his wife and family and kids, and you're this ultimate playboy character. But when Terry Funk attacks you, it's almost a role reversal. Now fans are behind you. You're the sympathetic baby face. And Terry, who left, is one of the biggest baby faces in rest. He's a crazy Terry Funk now. He's yeah. this deranged heel. It's uh, one of the first double turns I remember in my wrestling fandom. Yeah, and it, it couldn't have worked out better. And then they put him with Gary Hart, and that was it was it was and the, he and Muda and against Sting and I. I mean, we had we had a bunch of good stuff going on with Terry. It tells you just how talented Terry Funk is and how well-respected he is because, you know, to do a double turn like that, you got to have first two guys who are really over, right, Rick? I think so. Yeah. 